The alternator wiring harness uh, has been installed. I don't have it fully connected up yet. I'm still working through that. Um, there are three wires that come into the cabin from the alternator wiring harness. That's these two brown ones, which is normally a live, and then this white one. Um, as I say, I'm still in the process of figuring out exactly where they're connected up. Um, but you can see that the wiring harness comes in um, above the main harness. So that's the main harness connection. And then this is the alternator wiring harness in terms of coming in through the front bulkhead. Um, I fed it in uh, from the outside through the hole to this side. I'll share some of the reason for that. I think that was the easier option. Uh, again, a little bit, six of one, half a dozen of the other. On the other side of the bulkhead, um, I have the uh, I have the alternate harness connected up. Um, so this might look a little confusing, <clears throat> but I'll talk uh, talk my way through it here. This is the main body harness and goes. Uh, to the front of the car, connects up to the hood, uh, lights, horn, that kind of thing. Um, and then this is the alternator harness and it's obviously going to uh, connect up to the alternator on the engine uh, when the engine is installed. Um, now in terms of connections, Given that I've got this main harness in and I've run in the, um, the alternator harness, I can put on this regulator box. Um, part of the alternator harness includes uh, this connection here at the bottom. At the bottom there, this connection right here. Um, and that's actually very difficult to get wrong because it's uh, it's only got one way of being assembled. This is the voltage regulator. Uh, on this side uh, of this stud, this is like a live stud, I guess, a live feed for everything. I have all these four spade connections are all, um, well, three spade connections, one with a double uh, uh, double wire attached to it. Um, they're, they all go on this right-hand side. On the left-hand side, Ultimately goes the starter cable, which runs across uh, uh, across the vehicle. In addition, I have these three wires here that go to that little unit that's uh, ultimately bolted to the the um, to the subframe space frame, and that is for the alternator light. Um, and I actually have this on order, and it should be coming um, in the, in the next day or so. Uh, I've also on to this side of the post have attached a positive terminal for the battery and then I've created I've um, done the connection let me get my torch I've done the connection for the earth and that includes the earthing wire for the battery negative earth on this vehicle as I found out to my peril uh, previously or earlier and then I've connected the alternator earthing wire and also the main earthing wire um, to that, that that joint there. Um, it's a relatively simple harness to put in. Uh, I'll finalize all of the connections when all of the pieces turn up and the engine gets installed.